What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Vince McMahon set for Raw 30th, a 2K23 preview at the Royal Rumble, Dominic Mysterio backstage heat, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our top story today takes a look at Vince McMahon's set for Raw 30th appearance. Our top story today takes a look at the return of Vince McMahon to WWE and how McMahon could appear on WWE television in the immediate future. Whilst it has been reported that McMahon isn't involved in the creative direction at WWE at this stage, this doesn't mean that it won't drastically change. Triple H led a talent meeting before this week's SmackDown and he revealed to the talent that McMahon was back solely to oversee the formal sale of the company and that he wouldn't be involved in the creative process. Whilst this no doubt puts some minds at ease, there will be some wrestlers who believe it's only a matter of time before McMahon is heavily involved. One new rumour that surfaced over the weekend is that McMahon could appear once again as an on-air character. According to Mike Johnson of PW Insider, it's entirely possible that McMahon shows up at Raw's 30th anniversary show. No one knows what Vince will do. The T-Rex has escaped the pen. However, if I was a betting man, I'd probably bet he appears in some fashion on the 30th anniversary of Raw on 23rd January in Philly. A number of WWE legends are set to appear at Raw 30th and it'll be interesting to see if the WWE pre-advertise an appearance from McMahon. That's if an appearance is indeed planned. McMahon is the talk of the wrestling world and promoting him to appear on the biggest Raw of the year will be a huge ratings hit. Would you guys like to see McMahon on WWE television again? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE 2K23 reveals set for the Royal Rumble. As WWE 2K23 is rumored to be released in March just before WrestleMania 39, and according to Insider Gaming, fans will get their first look at 2K23 at the Royal Rumble. People familiar with the game tell Insider Gaming that 2K is slated to hold an event in San Antonio, Texas the day of the WWE Royal Rumble to give the first full look at WWE 2K23. The event on January 28th will have hands-on gameplay available as well as details on this year's 2K showcase with select matches. Lastly, a new game mode will be announced. Insider Gaming also revealed that even more information will be revealed on February 1st. Is it possible that a gameplay trailer is coming during the Rumble weekend and then the official cover art for the game will drop on February 1st? Time will tell, but fans are now speculating on social media in relation to which WWE star will feature on the cover. Fan suggestions range from Cody Rhodes to Roman Reigns, so hopefully we'll get our first glimpse of the cover within the next few weeks. Next up, who has Cody Rhodes been training with ahead of his return? As WWE return of Cody Rhodes is quickly approaching, with it being a common belief that Rhodes will formally declare his intentions to enter the Royal Rumble match in the coming weeks. Rhodes is fully healed and ready to return, and according to a new report published by Fightful Select, Rhodes handpicked two specific NXT stars to help him get ready for his WWE return. Fightful states that Rhodes has been at the WWE Performance Center since December and Rhodes has had Carmelo Hayes and Joe Gacy working with him in the ring. This is a huge endorsement for both Hayes and Gacy and it's a good indicator that both will have bright futures on the main roster. It's still unknown just what exactly WWE Creative have planned for Rhodes at WrestleMania 39. A featured main event match with Roman Reigns seems logical, but this all depends on whether The Rock is set to return as his comeback seems in a state of flux. There's also the Seth Rollins factor at play as Rhodes logically should seek revenge on Rollins, but this can be wrapped up before WrestleMania in April. Who would you guys like to see Rhodes face at WrestleMania? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a WWE star officially retires. A former NXT UK star Ginny has announced her retirement from pro wrestling, effective immediately. She took to Twitter yesterday to confirm her retirement in an emotional post which read, After a long time away due to an injury, I've made the decision to hang up my fashionable boots. Thank you for all the memories. I'll remember them forever. Every journey has an end, but in life, every ending is just a new beginning. I'm excited about what's next. Ginny made her wrestling debut in 2015 before debuting in WWE in 2017. Outside of the ring, Ginny is married to Intercontinental Champion Gunther. We here at WrestleMania wish Ginny all the best in her future. Next up, Roman Reigns named the biggest draw of 2022. The latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter made for interesting reading as Dave Meltzer named the biggest draw of 2022. This seems to be determined based on ticket sales and ratings, and for the year 2022, the biggest draw in wrestling was undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. 
This is hardly a surprise as Reigns' heel work managed to get even better last year. Reigns also became a part-time talent in 2022, only wrestling a select number of pay-per-view events, so this likely influenced how big of a draw Reigns was. Whilst Reigns taking on a lighter schedule has received some criticism, the approach hasn't hindered WWE's finances and have ultimately made Reigns-led events such as SummerSlam, Clash at the Castle and Survivor Series War Games incredibly successful. This is the second consecutive year that Reigns has been awarded the title of the biggest draw of the respective year, which no doubt shows the WWE made the right decision by turning the head of the table heel back in the summer of 2020. Next up, Dominic Mysterio has backstage heat. But Dominic Mysterio's work in the Judgment Day faction has received widespread praise. Mysterio has drifted away from his legendary father and in turn started his own legacy. Whilst Mysterio has been pushed extensively on screen, he has been reprimanded backstage for missing several flights to shows. Mysterio during an interview on Keeping It 100 was asked if he'd been in trouble yet in WWE. This is what he had to say. I don't think so, but they've gotten on me because I've gotten a reputation for missing some flights. Luckily for Mysterio, it looks like it hasn't led to him losing his place on the show, as he's still a central figure on Raw every week. Next up, WWE tie-in at the Super Bowl. A recent tweet from Tim Jarrell of PW Unlimited has indicated that Fox may want to incorporate a WWE tie-in when they air the Super Bowl this year. The tweet reads, Fox has a Super Bowl this year and I was told by a source that Fox may want some sort of WWE tie-in on the broadcast. One pitched idea is a possible WrestleMania match announcement on the broadcast. Nothing is set in stone but an idea that was pitched. This would be an incredibly smart move for both Fox and WWE, so hopefully the pitch materialises. Next up, an AEW star calls out WWE Vice President. AEW star Dax Harwood has an established issue with WWE Vice President of Live Events, Road Dogg. Harwood revealed that Road Dogg threatened to haul the revival's advancement in WWE. Road Dogg has since apologised to Harwood, but it looks like he hasn't accepted the apology, and even stated that Road Dogg was outright lying during his apology. Harwood would discuss this on his podcast, saying, He says, I'm sorry if I upset Dax by not saying thank you, but I don't think I had it coming back and say thank you for doing your job. Again, he's spinning a narrative to try and get fans on his side because he knows it's a time-honored tradition for years and years. When you get finished with a segment, when you get finished with a match, when there's business done, you walk to the back and say thank you. That's how it's always been, right? One, you say thank you for keeping me safe so I can go home tomorrow and hang out with my family. You say thank you for bumping around for me and making me look good so I can continue to make money. He knows that. He absolutely knows that. He spun his narrative so he didn't look like the bad guy. And finally, Impact Wrestling signed former Intercontinental Champion. Our final story today reveals an exciting and rather surprising signing for Impact Wrestling. At Impact's Hard to Kill event, their new authority figure was announced, and it was none other than former WWE Intercontinental Champion Santino Morella. Impact fans are now curious to see how Morella does in the role, as Morella seems to be portraying his comedic persona, and it's unknown how this will translate to a serious role such as an authority figure. Morella is semi-retired when it comes to being an active wrestler. He had his last match to date last summer, whilst his final WWE match was in 2020 as part of the Women's Royal Rumble where he portrayed the infamous Santina Morella character. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.